Uh, LA Knight had a backstage segment where he said he was going to grab Jimmy's pigtails and ride him. Yep, but didn't think he thought that one through. Nope. All right, Roman Reigns and LA Knight had a contract signing. Roman's music, of course, starts off the evening. And as soon as Roman Reigns does his little first title raise, the music changes. And out comes LA Knight. And he walks past Roman and Heyman without so much as a glance. A good call back to Brock Lesnar walking past The Rock. I thought The Rock did it. But I had this whole thing. If there's so many comparisons with him and The Rock, why are they having him do The Rock shit? But no, The Rock was just involved. Yeah, Brock Lesnar walked past The Rock. But yeah, I liked it. Uh, I loved how it kind of threw Roman off. You can kind of see he was a little rattled. Like, who the fuck does this motherfucker think he is? Kind of sets the tone. At least LA Knight thinks he's a big deal. I'm starting to get a feeling. We'll talk about it in a second. Is it actually about to happen? It's starting to creep in. Mm. Are the stars aligning at just the right moment? And I, and I, can, I can tell you why. We'll, we'll get into it in a second here. Okay. They get in the ring and... Heyman moves Knight's chair to the head of the table, so naturally Knight sits in it. They did this whole thing, I don't understand. If Heyman would have pulled the other chair down, then he would have had a bitch, but he clearly moved Knight's chair. Well, at this point, Knight was already doing everything he can to piss off Roman. True. He was asking for it. So Heyman tries to protest, and then he starts to actually move the head of the table to Roman. And the Knight says, Heyman, I know you're not trying to move this table. And he asked Roman if he's going to take all night because he ain't got time. Sign this deal and then sign your title away. The knight signs the contract. He turns it over to Roman and says, there you go, chief. Heyman takes the pen knight used and throws it back in his face. And he pulls out his own pen. <laughs> Which would have been a lot more effective if his pen worked. But I love how he kind of did like a little sissy throw. Yeah, it's Paul Heyman for you. The so Roman calls Knight an idiot, and he says he doesn't know what he's getting himself into because he's never been through a contract signing and he's never been through a title match. Then Roman says, don't worry, your tribal chief will go real easy on you, sweetheart. And Roman goes to sign the contract and his pen fails. Then he tears Heyman a new asshole. And he's like, this doesn't work! And for some reason, that just made me giggle. Doesn't work! <laughs> and Heyman says, I'm sorry, my tribal chief. So Roman signs the contract with a functional pen. And then Nick all of this, yeah, he's standing there. Forgot to say that. He wishes both gentlemen good luck and leaves. Then Roman goes to do the same, but LA Knight stops him. Knight says, I'm head of the table now, so acknowledge me. For once, Roman's smile cracks. And Knight says, if Roman's going to underestimate him because this is his first rodeo, then he's already beat. This is my first time, but I only need one time. And while you were too busy doing suffering succotash, I've been out here telling everybody whose game this is. Because there can be only one WWE champ, and only one me. It's coming up soon, and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's not an insult, that's a fact of life. Knight says he can't stop, and then he gets the crowd to chant his name. Now, at this point, the crowd has been chanting LA Knight. They've been booing Roman. They've been chanting you suck. They've been saying Roman's scared. They've been very loud and very anti-Roman and very pro LA Knight. At this point, when Knight gets the crowd to chant his name, Roman just flips the table right in his face. <laughs> and he starts beating the ever-living shit out of him. Then Roman grabs a table from under the ring, and then he takes an unnecessary amount of time setting this table up and removing things that could cause additional harm to LA Knight away from the table. Knight, of course, recovers when Roman goes to snatch him, and then he starts kicking Roman's ass. Jimmy Uso comes out, and he gets put through the table for his troubles. I thought that was probably the most exciting contract signing I've seen in a while. I especially liked how they did the whole thing with Knight interrupting Roman. Yeah, it was well done. I like the interrupting. I like him sitting at the head, because that's what Roman does. Now, there's a little flaw in his little promo, though. You know, he said, Roman, while he was doing Suffering Succotash, it only took me one year to get to this moment now you don't know what hits you are we just erasing the max dupree part of the <laughs> story out of this obviously <laughs> like we're just glossing over that that didn't happen <laughs> clearly <laughs> so yeah that was a little flaw there but you know that's just a little thing i don't know i thought the head of the table thing would have worked better if he stole roman's chair well no, no to be honest i didn't even see the chair part i just saw him sit at the head of the table so yeah, I so you, that small detail, but so you know how the table is facing vertically from the camera. 
Yeah. You know, the chairs on either side. Heyman goes to the right of the table where LA Knight's standing, takes his chair, puts it at the head of the table. So Roman's standing with his chair and then LA Knight's chair at the head of the table. So obviously LA Knight is going to sit in his chair. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I didn't pay that close attention to that part. I did. That just bugged the shit out of me. Maybe I'm focusing on it too much. But it does bring me to the point where I was going to say, there's these reports, and I don't know if they're true or not, but the reports will tell you that Roman Reigns may be missing Survivor Series. We've already touched on that. And I said, maybe he's not even needed for Survivor Series if they're doing war games. But it did get me to thinking. They could shock the world here and have LA Knight beat Roman in Saudi, and then he's your new champion. And then Roman can take Survivor Series off because now he's really not needed. What that does to Cody's story, that's another thing, but... I'm just saying it could happen. I got the vision, the kernel of thought like this could actually happen, especially with the news of him not showing up at Survivor Series. If they had known that already, then maybe they take the title like, OK, if you're going to keep missing, we got to take the title off of, you now. this is getting ridiculous. That's what they're saying. I don't think that I think he's not needed for Survivor Series. He doesn't need to just be there to be there. Well, I think they're stupid enough to let him work X amount of dates and that's their fault. But what I am saying is, you missed Survivor Series. We don't have a pay-per-view in December, so you really are not needed there. Everybody takes their little vacation, and then we get to, to Royal Rumble. Now you're needed for the WrestleMania grind. So if he does miss Survivor Series, it's not the biggest thing in the world. But that could also lead to him losing the title. Just wanted to point out that I did have a, a thought. <laughs> Clearly. So after that, Roman's backstage, and he's putting his man bun back together. And Heyman... Says he's going to give Knight a Green Bay Packers WWE custom title. Because it's the closest either will get to being champions. Because I told you Jordan Love was not the guy. You know, when Jordan Love be good, I don't say anything. <laughs> but when he's bad, I'll be talking again. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of smoky. <laughs> yeah, I got it. But they're really shilling out those titles, I tell you. Uh, so Jimmy Uso comes in, and he's still hurt from getting put through a table earlier. And he collapses on the couch. And Roman tells Jimmy he doesn't handle uh, LA Knight tonight. It's all over. Jimmy says that he's on injured reserve, and he can't do anything. And Roman's like, what? Jimmy says, I'm off injured reserve. I can do something. <laughs> <laughs> So Roman tells Heyman to make the match happen. And then Jimmy says, yeet. And then Roman says, I thought I told you. I don't like that. I don't know. I'm liking their dynamic. Like, I think Jimmy, him in this, like, non-serious role, I'm liking it. There was two things. Of course, WWE social media team, they put out the little short of Jimmy falling on the couch talking to Roman about the, I'm on injured reserve. And then it's like, I'm not on injured reserve. <laughs> And I don't know if this was on purpose. And if it was, like, you just can't say enough about Paul Heyman. So Jimmy flops on the couch. And, you know, they're doing a short. So the aspect ratio is like a vertical video. And <laughs> as he's laying on the couch, slowly the Green Bay Packers title slips in the frame. <laughs> in the frame. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like he couldn't have known that this was going to be a clip and then put the title in frame like that. But that's not happening. It shows him just like scooting it over into frame. <laughs> <laughs> and then like it just slowly creeps in the frame and then it's right there in frame for the whole segment. I mean, if he thought about that, then good for him. Uh, LA Knight had a backstage segment where he said he was going to grab Jimmy's pigtails and ride him. Yep, but didn't think he thought that one through. Nope. So Jimmy Uso versus LA Knight. Knight wins with blunt force trauma. And then it was kind of weird that Solo at least didn't come out to help. At the end of the match, Roman tried to spear Knight, but Knight turns it into a blood force trauma. And I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> Knight was talking shit to Roman the entire time he was rolling out of the ring. And Knight gets the upper hand on Roman Reigns. Did he underestimate him? Probably. Well, this may be the story that they're telling, but I think <laughs> that Roman Reigns is kind of not taking this match serious. Or it almost comes off as like he already knows he's going to beat LA Knight. Well, I would say up until this point, probably, but after SmackDown, and he's probably taking him a little bit more seriously. He just got laid out in public, if you will. This is, this is almost a, <laughs> this is almost a, uh, I lost it. 
It was going to be the Rocky reference where he's not taking Mr. T seriously. Then he gets his ass beat. And, you know, you got him out there boxing in the cold. Rocky's doing his promotion. He's only practicing for the cameras. Was that a good shot? <laughs> oh, let's do it again. <laughs> and, yeah, Clover Lane's out there, like, training, pushing cars and really grinding at it. But, yeah. Yeah. So that's Rocky. Well, it's kind of like Brock Lesnar and The Rock. Brock Lesnar, he was training in that little makeshift gym with bricks as dumbbells while the rock was at the Miami university training facility. Yeah. There's a lot of parallels to this story. Yeah. Now that we're seeing, 